Huh? They're calling for the most massive eruption in history tonight. And they expect the volcano to be active for a month? What? A gigantic volcanic eruption? Starting tonight? And it'll last a whole month? Let's go check it out for ourselves. Okay. They weren't kidding. It's smoking up here. Oh, this is getting out of hand. We can't stay, Mikey. We have to find cover as quick as possible. But, but there aren't any shelters in our village. Oh. You're right, buddy. So I guess it's up to us. Huh? Since there's no safe place to hide nearby, we'll have to hurry up and build a shelter ourselves. Let's get moving. Check it out. Huh? I need you to put on a helmet and take a pickaxe. Done! And done! Good. Now let's get cracking on a shelter under our house. Got it! We'll start here. All right! Get digging. <sighs> I'm on it! Stay finished. Is it really? Check it out. Oh, wait. Not quite, actually. We can't forget the ladder. True that! Whoa! There. I added a hatch, and now it's done. Not bad, huh? It's great! Hmm. We'll definitely want beds. <laughs> I know I will! The villagers will be staying here too, you know. Right, right, right! Let's set up bunk beds. Mm. This is what you have to do to make them. Take these out. There! Stunning! Adding a ladder in the middle. And, of course, the bottom bunks. Very nice. <laughs> that about does it. We're done? Well, let's build another lair. There are going to be a lot of us, after all. True. This might not be enough for everyone. Now we have room for six people to sleep. Amazing! What we need now is a toilet and a shower. For sure. It would be embarrassing to have them out in the open. True that. So, we'll make a dedicated bathroom for them. Great thinking! Something like this. Hmm. Okay, the toilet can go here. Uh-huh. We'll wash our hands in this corner. Oh, yeah, great idea! We'll put the bathtub over on this side. Hmm. And the only thing left hmm. is the shower. There! <laughs> It's a tight squeeze, but everything we need fits. So it's finished then. Yay! Fantastic! We'll place a door here, and that's the bathroom. The bedroom's done too. Uh-huh. We're gonna need some food. Right! Let's get some. There should be some in the supply shed. Oh. Let's have a look-see. Wow! There's so much! These are our reserves. Potatoes, carrots, uh, some of the meat and potatoes are rotten, unfortunately. But whatever, let's grab it all. All right, good idea. Huh, let's put the carrots and the fresh meat in the fridge. Go for it, pack them in there. The potatoes too, why not? There, now, hmm. Yes? We'll store the rest of the food as well as the wheat in this chest. Excellent idea. That should be enough to get us through the month. <gasps> we forgot something super important. What is it? Hang on a second. What else do we need? Hang on, I'll show you. Plop, plop, plop. Huh? Okay, one of these. Oh, a TV. And of course, we gotta have a couple of these. Mount this here, and then... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're computers! This is the bedroom. Let's carve out another space on this side. Sure! This is where we'll set up our system. Let's do it! Gotta make some room first. Of course! So now, Mikey... Uh-huh? We're gonna place some ice on the ground. Okay! Now on the wall... Even just this will have an impact on the temperature. I'm cooling down already. But it isn't enough, though. Oh? 
I'll place some iron blocks in the back. Okay. Oh. The lever's gonna go here, and the fan will go here. Wowee! Amazing! Watch if I flip the switch. Mm -hmm. Like so. Whoosh! Whoa! Great, huh? Fantastic! It's so much cooler now! The fan blows the air off the ice and into the rest of the shelter. Yay! We won't have to boil down here! That's right. Now let's go round up the villagers. I'm on it! Is the volcano really gonna blow tonight? Huh. Do you want to go above ground and take a peek? Okay. Even if it does, how big of an eruption could it be anyway? Okay. safe in here, I think. <sighs> All right. No use panicking. I need to keep myself busy. I know what we should do. Let's stuff our faces and play computer games. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I guess we could. Might as well. This is so much fun! You said it. <laughs> You've been playing for a while. You should sleep. Oh. Hmm. I guess you're right. I can pick up where I left off tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Sure. Ah, it's nice and cool. And the villagers are already asleep. Let's join them. <sighs> sleep, eat, game, repeat. Thanks to our computers, spending a month down here is easy. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh... What was that sound? I think I heard an explosion in the living room. Seriously? Yikes! No! Oh. It's... it's lava! And it's flooding in! How'd that happen? Seriously? Oh! It burnt a hole in the ceiling, and now it's seeping through! We have to plug it before it gets any worse. I have some dirt blocks, but will they do the trick? Will they stop the lava flow? Hmm? Oh, Mikey, I think it's working. Uh, Let's see. Will we be okay? We might be able to use dirt to seal the hole. Well... It worked! The leak, it's stopping! Oh. Look, look, look! Wow! Phew! I thought we were done for! Is the lava level still coming down? Yes, I think we're safe. We managed to survive! Yippee! Now everything in the shelter is back to normal. I'm just glad we were able to protect the food. Yeah. Fortunately, it's A-OK. -okay. Hmm? Uh, Mikey? Yeah? What's the matter, JJ? Everything's all right, isn't it? No, look. The shelter is back to normal. It isn't. The computers and TV, they melted. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> They're gone! Hmm. You look bored, Mikey. <laughs> you have ever since you lost your games. You know what? What? I think it's been about a month. So? The eruption should be over by now. Oh? So we did it? We outlasted it? That means we can go outside! Yippee! Yahoo! I've been bored out of my 
my mind since the games went up in smoke. Let's head outside and breathe some fresh air. Woohoo! I wonder what it's like out there. Hmm? Hopefully everything's fine. Let's find out. Hmm? Well? <gasps> How terrible! The village! It, it... Whoa. Uh, uh... it got totally wrecked. But look on the bright side. At least we survived. Mikey, come with me. Today we have a huge pile of things to do with you. We just have to harvest our crops today. We have been growing all this for so long that now we just have to collect it all. Such a large amount of food will last us for a long time. Do you think we should sell some of what we collect? I don't know. Wouldn't it be better if we just collect all this and store it? I don't think selling our food is a good idea. It happens so often that we have nothing to eat. No, we definitely won't sell anything. All the food is ours. Okay, Mikey, I have heard your position and I agree with you. We have raised this village from its knees, developed it all to the limit, and now we have the right to do what we want here. If we say that all the food from the fields is ours, then the villagers have no right to argue. They can buy something for themselves, but not us. Everything is ours. Hi, do you want to buy something? No, we just came to listen to what's being said in the village. Any news? There has been no news for the last two days. Everything is as calm as ever. Thank you. Continue to be our ears and eyes. Mikey, come on. It's time for us to go home. So, nothing important or interesting is happening in the village. It pleases. As the head of the village, I am glad that everything is very calm. I hope this will continue for a long time. But we can't relax. The enemy can come to our village at any moment. Enemies? We haven't seen any enemies in months. It seems to me that we have already killed all the brigand detachments for several tens of miles from the village. Do you really think that some not very smart people can attack our village? There is logic in your words, but something is bothering me. Some feeling tells me that something is wrong. What are you talking about? Before I go to bed, I want to read some book. Hmm, what to choose? What are those sounds, hmm? It's like Mikey's eating something. Hey, why aren't you sleeping yet? Let's go to bed. There are some strange sounds below. I heard noises. I also heard something like that, but from above. Do you think we're hearing the same thing? The sound is like someone breathing and scratching. Interesting. Hey, what is that up that tree? Ah! What is that? Is it a ghost? Mikey, tell me you see it too. There are ghosts flying outside our house. Why is this happening? So these ghosts are clearly some kind of aggressive. It's like they're threatening us. You were talking about the threat of the village. It seems that this is the threat. A gang of ghosts. Do you think that this is the danger for our village? Hmm, I don't even know. I've heard that ghosts aren't dangerous if you don't anger them and don't touch them. Something tells me that we won't sleep tonight. These damn ghosts will definitely want to do something to us if we go to bed. I've heard that ghosts can suck the life force out of people who are sleeping. God, why today? Simon at the market said that the village is not in danger. Perhaps he just didn't know or didn't see this danger. But now it's obvious that we have to do something against these ghosts. We haven't slept all night, but it seems the ghosts are gone now. And we can finally go outside. Are they definitely not there? I'm a little scared to go out there. I'm afraid the ghost will eat my soul. I'm sure. Look, it's just a beautiful morning outside. I think we should take a walk around the village. Let's go to our friend Simon. Are we sure we want to go to him? The time before last, he sold you an absolutely useless thing for half of our food. And you said you wouldn't come to him to buy anything anymore. You have a very interesting relationship. Mikey, he's the best gossip in our village. Besides, no one knows that he is our undercover agent. Everyone thinks that he is an ordinary trader in the market. But you've seen his prices, haven't you? It's just awful. Like I said, we don't go shopping with him anymore. We go for free information. Speaking of which, we're here. Hi, Simon. Oh, hello. What do you want today? Would you like a kilogram of potatoes? Simon, don't forget about our agreement. And so, you usually tell us the news. Now it's our turn. 
At night, our house was attacked by ghosts. Nobody was hurt, but they obviously wanted to wait until we fell asleep and suck all the strength out of us. What do you think? Ghosts? I think it's serious. These enemies are much more dangerous than a gang of robbers. Robbers are easy to destroy, but not ghosts. Preparations are needed first. Find the salt, sprinkle salt all over your house outside, and then try the silver weapon against them. Do you think salt will help us? It's just salt! Against ghosts, salt becomes a formidable deterrent. If you have a way to apply salt, do it before the night. Simon is right. I think we'll do it. We'll sprinkle salt and the ghosts won't be able to get inside just like that. Are we seriously trusting our lives to salt? It's an absolutely harmless spice for food. It's so weird. Strange or not, Simon assures us that salt scares them away. We also need weapons, and it is desirable that this weapon is silver. Let's see what we can do. I have a lot of salt. I'll go outside and evenly distribute all the salt along our house. I think it's a great idea. If it helps, it will be the best way. I will tell all the villagers to do the same in their homes. What are you standing for? Check the equidistance. I'm not throwing perfect at the eye. Uh I'm already checking, but who will warn the villagers? They may be scared at night. Ghosts are not ordinary robbers after all. I'll warn them myself after we're done here. Just give me a little more time. The salt has not been absorbed yet. I'm done with salt. Mikey, let's go inside. There is a risk that ghosts may appear even during the day. It can't be. I just saw a ghost run in front of your nose. I wonder if you saw a ghost at all. The night is coming. We are ready. And here is the night. Let's see how our salt helps. There is a possibility that they don't care about salt. At least the ghosts aren't trying to get through the windows and walls. Stupid ghost, we have to get rid of them. Yes, we definitely have to do it. I have a little plan. We have weapons and armor in our house for such a case. I think with the help of this, we will definitely be able to once and for all to defeat our enemies. Wait, what are we waiting for? Isn't your weapon ready yet? JJ, come on faster. These ghosts must be destroyed. We can't leave them alive. Uh, I didn't mean to make a pun. It's on its own. Living ghosts, hmm, maybe you're right. Both weapons and armor are ready. In that case, I suggest that we simply destroy all the ghosts without further delay. Are we taking it already? Great. I'm ready to fight like never before. Solid salt armor and a silver sword. The armor will not give the ghosts absolutely nothing on the glass. Everything is in armor. And our silver swords will destroy them quickly. Go ahead. Whoa! Why did the ghost turn red? I don't understand. There you see, there are a lot of them. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just let's kill them already and go to sleep. I haven't slept for two days. I really want to sleep too. Mikey, as soon as we deal with these enemies, we will definitely go to bed. A strong long sleep is the key to a great mood and strong immunity. And not sleeping for several days is dangerous at all. You can't anger your body. These damned ghosts plan to deprive us of sleep and weaken us. Now they have no chance. There aren't many ghosts left. Let's push. I wonder if it's all ghosts. It will be unpleasant if there is still an army of 1,000 of the same sitting somewhere. Smash them! Come on, almost everything! We have won. We have recaptured our village and our lives from the ghosts. We have always believed in us. Yes, finally a restful sound sleep. God, I'm so tired. Let's go home. We need to talk a little and check if any new ghosts will come when they find out that they all are dead. Hmm, where are all our resources? Have the ghosts taken all our provisions from us? Yes, it really is. We only have the food that you got this afternoon. Yes, it's kind of sad. So here comes the morning. After we've had a good night's sleep, it's time to show up to our friend Simon. Let's tell him about our successes. I wonder what he will tell us in response. He advised us to use salt and silver weapons. He knows exactly how to deal with ghosts. I'm so glad we asked him what we should do. Simon, thanks to your advice, we have succeeded. The invasion has fought back. 
The salt turned out to be just incredibly useful. I thought so. Don't mention it. Hmm, Mikey, what did you do? Why did you kill the ostrich? What? Who? Me? Where? What are you talking about? Oh, it doesn't matter, Mikey. It just doesn't matter. I think we've seen enough today. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe and like, please. We will be glad if you leave a comment. Thank you. Bye! Bye.